Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more fighting. Make sure you smash the like button, also hit the subscribe button. Now, I want to do my post fight review, talk about UFC Auckland. They were in New Zealand, and it was Mark Hunt in the main event versus Derek Lewis. Super Samoan versus the Black Beast. And this was a fun fight on regular FS1. I enjoyed it. Mark Hunt was able to get things done. And he got a TKO in the fourth round. I'm going to kind of take you through the fight and let you know what I've seen. First round, especially the first 30 seconds or so, I think both fighters were very respectful of each other's power. And they were cautious. They were fighting kind of a cautious style trying to fill each other out. I thought in the first round, I gave it to Lewis because he was he was more of the aggressor and he was he was landing a lot of high kicks and at least throwing them. Mark Hunt was trying to get a range. One thing I noticed too, just from the eye test, maybe because when I watched the uh, Black Beast versus Ronda Rousey's boyfriend, Travis Brown, Travis Brown, he's, he's a pretty tall dude. So I didn't realize quite how big Lewis was. Lewis looked huge next to Mark Hunt and they weighed about probably about around the, right around the same but that was just the observation I noticed he looked big and he actually started off pretty he started off pretty crisp like he looked like he had a lot of spark to his movement he was he was throwing some but his to me his game plan slowly unraveling and I'll get to that when we get to some of the other rounds but I gave round one to Lewis I thought he was just more aggressive it was a filler round and he was landing those kicks and he landed a kick so hard that it it caused Mark Hunt's shin to bleed he has a tattoo right by his shin and you can see blood dripping out right before the the second round started so um actually I think Hunt landed a real good kick it was a single towards the end of the round but the thing I like about fights like this is you got guys who were competing at the same, you know what I mean, right around the same echelon, and they both got crack, and they go, you know what I mean, they got that thunder, they got hammers, so both fighters have to be cautious, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, why, why, why didn't this fighter do this or that? Listen, if you got that free, free smoke, free smoke, like Mark Hunt and Derek Lewis, you're going, and you're in the octagon with them you will be cautious of how you come at them and how you approach them so i really didn't have a um a problem this was kind of like a high speed chess match of sorts because you don't want to just rush into a fighter like mark hunt mark hunt actually both of them especially early but mark hunt he moves very well for someone of his size you know what i'm saying and Derek lewis did too when he had this energy but that kind of he depleted his his um, gas tank and shot his load, but they both move pretty well for their size. I mean, you look at it, if you look at, I don't know how much he weighed on fight night, but Derek Lewis probably weighed, let's say 279, 283, 285, and he's kicking, he's doing high kicks. You can't take, that's what people have to understand, like professional athletes and stuff like that. You can get someone else who has like a similar build as Derek Lewis, but they're fresh off the couch, they're not going to be able to throw three and four kicks, you know what I mean, that high. They'll be out of shape. So even though these guys don't look like bodybuilders or Alistair Overeem back in the day, you, they're, they're still a different level of athleticism that they both have. So you definitely have to be cautious. Mark Hunt is no joke with that uppercut, and I seen him in round one. He was really trying to shoot that, and he had his right hand cocked. So he, he was ready for whatever. So you have to, it's too much power that you're dealing with. You have to have a game plan and be cautious and, and set things up. So I thought round two was a good ass round. And I said, these motherfuckers are throwing thunder. Lewis seemed hurt. And that was like the first glimpse of where he really seemed kind of bothered. But in his defense, he fought back and he back hunt him off him by landing some uh, good strikes and some right hands and hunt still remain cautious but what i like about mark hunt is this is a guy where yeah to my knowledge he hasn't really looked sensational his last two fights against alistair overeem he got ko'd with the knee 
he was on the the mat and got out wrestled and big ass Brock Lesnar who was juicing was on top of him and stuff like that so even if it got ruled a no contest or whatever because Brock was on PEDs he didn't look good in his last two fights so I mean you can't count this dude out this dude is like 43 44 years old or whatever super Samoan and he, he's beating somebody who's probably 10 years his junior coming off of a good performance versus Ronda Rousey's boyfriend stuff like that and I said round three Derek Lewis looking pretty tired he's holding his hands at his waist this was kind of the beginning of the end like it doesn't look good it's like that doesn't look good when you have both hands by your waist like you just ran a mile or something Hunt was still being respectful of Lewis's power he wasn't getting overly aggressive but a lot of pressure overall from Mark Hunt He's being patient, not rushing his work. And I think I said, I think he needed to take a little bit more risk on Twitter because he has his man so winded and so gassed. And the end came in the fourth round. It's just that constant pressure and that fatigue. Derek Lewis, he just was, he had that hole in his gas tank and he just was taking, he was getting hit with the one, two and big shots and he was up against the cage and he just didn't look like he was fighting back enough so the referee jumped in to save him from taking maximum damage and you didn't really see much protest i would say the the stoppage might be a tad bit premature for my liking but the fact that lewis didn't didn't protest or didn't argue and it looked like he was just trying to catch his breath that goes to show you that you know what i mean it was only probably a matter of time but i like the game plan from both this was to me this was a pretty fun fight for fox sports one it, was, it, it requires a game plan. That's what it boils down to. You have to have a game plan when you're dealing with two guys with that power. And I think Derek Lewis did some good things in there, but he has to work on his strategy because the amount of movement that he used, he just used a lot of movement. And Mark Hunt was calculated, more methodical, and put a lot of pressure on him. And then I guess Derek Lewis post-fight said, that was likely his last fight in the UFC. So I don't know what he's planning on doing. But I like both guys. So fights like this, you don't want to see somebody lose. But props to Mark Hunt. I thought he did his thing. He was he was calculated. No walk-off knockout. Um, Derek Lewis is probably too big and too strong. But he was getting to him and causing him to fatigue. And he was just systematic with it. So very good bounce-back win, in my opinion, for Mark Hunt. Just because he hasn't really looked great in his last two fights with... Brock Lesnar and also Alistair Overeem, he got KO'd, so to bounce back and, and put put together a calculated beatdown against someone who's game. There were spots where Derek Lewis was backing him up and shining and stuff like that, but the Mark Hunt, the veteran, Polly Power, he was able to get it done in the fourth TKO. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.